Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a very, very common misconception, I guess, from LEGO themselves regarding Ninjago, and that is the topic of Lloyd's dominant element. So there was a video released recently from the official LEGO YouTube channel where they kind of introduce the heroes of Ninjago and talk about a few, I guess, bits of trivia about them. And in the section where they talk about Lloyd, they mention how Lloyd's original dominant element was lightning. And I'm going to go ahead and explain why in a way this is correct and why in a way it's not correct. In terms of the Ninjago show, this is very much not canon at all. Yes, at one point Lloyd did possess the power of lightning, but that was also when he possessed all of the elemental powers, or at least the four that the original four ninja had, those being fire, earth, ice, and of course, lightning. The only reason that I can think of that LEGO would say that Lloyd's original dominant element was lightning is because of the Ninjago Spinner game. If you guys remember the Ninjago Spinner game, it came out with the original couple of years of Ninjago. In the second year, when Lloyd was introduced into the game, his character card had the official element of lightning as his dominant element. So that's probably where LEGO is getting this from. Naturally, in the show, it doesn't make any sense, but the original Lloyd card, yes, indeed, did have lightning as his dominant element. It kind of makes sense that LEGO would kind of, I guess, think about this themselves in terms of a misconception. Obviously, the writers of Ninjago know that that's not actually true. There was nothing in the show that suggested that Lloyd's dominant element was lightning from the beginning. So the only people that actually, I guess, are confused about this is LEGO themselves. And I kind of wanted to clear up any sort of confusion that came from the video that they made. It's obvious that Lloyd's dominant element is naturally energy or golden power, whatever you want to call it, but he was able to control the four elemental powers at one point. There wasn't one elemental power that he unlocked before the others, they just kind of came to him all naturally, and he was trained in each one, and we saw him using each one within the first couple of seasons of Ninjago. So be sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below talking about this. What do you feel like is the reasoning behind Lloyd's dominant element supposedly being lightning, and do you agree with my reasoning that it was the original trading card for Lloyd? Leave all your thoughts down below, and I look forward to reading what you guys come up with. With all that being said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again, the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Stan Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.